Hello and welcome to Austria's historic Salzburg. We're here for the 10th edition of the Red Bull X Alps, the world's toughest adventure race. My name is Tarquin Cooper and I hope you are as excited as I am to be here today. It's been two years, two long years since we were last here for the start of this extraordinary race. Now, behind me over there in the race in the athlete village, we have 29 athletes about to begin one of the most extraordinary odysseys you can do on this planet, which is to hike and fly across the Alps. This year's route, the longest, one of the toughest ever, 1,238 kilometers via 12 turn points. It's an out and back to Mont Blanc and back to Zellamze. And what a race it is, it is gonna be. And uh, can't wait for it to start, but you've got to wait 30 minutes. It's 11 o'clock now, just gone half an hour until the start gun fires. And uh, conditions, they're not quite as good as promising as they were looking this morning. It's, it's quite gusty now. I don't know if we can see the, the windsock up there. And I know you can't, uh, you can't compare what's, what's happening here in the, in the city with what's happening up on the Geisberg. But uh, we had reports from the team up on the top this morning that there were gusts up to um, 50 kilometers an hour. So, you know, yesterday at the press conference, there were predictions of, of making uh, the Hanenkam at Kitzbühel. Um, however, uh, I think today, this morning, uh, ambitions are a little bit more modest and teams will be doing well to get to Vagrein. Still flyable if they can get up, um, but there is a question mark. If those gusts uh, persist, the race may make a decision on whether it is flyable or not. So anyway, I think we should go inside and uh, meet some of the athletes. So hello, follow me. So not quite so many people uh, this year for obvious reasons. This is where they run, charge through here. So exciting. So let us know where you're from and uh, who you're supporting in this year's race. We're supporting, we only support one guy. Who are you? The one and only, Nick, Nick Donini. Eat that three baby rock and roll. This is what we do, this is how we love it. <laughs> Nick, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. I have. Fans here, I have the support. Who, who are these guys? Can you introduce us? Yeah, this is my media team. Yeah, and this is my uh, mental coach, uh, Lorenzo D. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, um, we're just hearing it's quite gusty on the top. What's your reading of the, the weather at the moment? Uh, there's a snow wind that is going at the moment, but I think it will decrease a few minus hours. So, let's see. We have some plans, B and C. So, yeah. D and E? Yeah, yes, of course. So, we are prepared and. What's the, what's the plan A to get to today? Yeah, I will try to stay in the group, stay in flight with the, some good pilot and so as far as possible. I don't want to invent anything today, it's just take the risk and fly as much as possible. Do you already have a destination in mind? Bagrain or? Uh, if yeah, yeah, we will be able to reach Bagrain and go for, yeah, for this cool possible. Maybe today will be tough. Well, Nick, um, all the best of luck. Yeah, and, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, your first time, but obviously. Yeah, you saw on the road to be here. Yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, I don't know what to expect from the race, but uh, it's like a dream to be here. Yeah, I'm so happy for that. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, take care, I'll see you. See you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
So we've got the uh, race organiser here, Ulrich Grill. So Ulrich, what can you tell us about the situation on top of the Geisberg? Is there, is there still a decision to be made on whether it's viable? Yeah, right now, like, um, you know, we've checked like on the uh, wind speeds with an average of like, you know, 45k up there right now with gusting up to 60k, which, you know, doesn't make it viable at the moment. Um, you know, guys like Paul says like, well, it's going to come down, like, if by 1 p.m., like, it's going to, you know, be nice again, so let's see, let's see, you know, hopefully it's going to be flat, hopefully it's going to come. Sure. But otherwise, it must be feel fantastic to be here, you know, everything that's happened globally in the last 18 months, yeah. it's two years since the last edition, how does it feel for you personally to see the race it's finally a, start? It's a huge relief. Uh, honestly, really, like we've been working so hard, the crew has been working so hard, we've been taking huge risks as well because we didn't know whether how the COVID situation would turn, like it would it get you know worse or better. So, when we decided two months ago, I had some sleepless nights for sure. Yeah. Well, you know, the athletes are going to get some sleepless nights, so uh, well, yeah, exactly. I mean, you've got to suffer in this race. I know, but so we had our we had a good amount of suffering ourselves as well already. Good. Well, look, we're, let's go and find some other people to talk to. Here's this man. Look at Tom. Yes. Oh, it's 20 years. Yes, huh? 20 years. Yes. So this is the 10th edition. There's it's only one athlete who has done every single race, and it is you. Yeah, I celebrated I, this year 30 years. You're like the the godfather of the Red Bull Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's my my daughter is here. Oh. Yeah, he's small daughter. And how, how, how does it feel to be, to be here today? Good. Ladies and gentlemen, it feels good. It's five minutes. Perfect. The Rebel X would not be the same without you. Off the start line of the And what's your goal in this race? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's my, uh, it's my uh, motivation for the goal. Uh, uh, it's my motivation the goal. Am Start stehen wird. Das Great stuff, Tomo. Well, um, all the best of luck. And uh, we'll see you out there. Thank you. So let's go find some other athletes. Now I mentioned that this year is a historic edition. It's the 10th edition. Oh, there's Toma getting loads of cheers. So we want to find Tom de Dolado because it is Tom's birthday today. And he's, oh, he said one, two. Let's see, we're looking for Tom. Where has anyone seen Tom? Up? There he is. Let's have a look. Not in there. Let's talk to Gavin for a quick second. Can we say hello, Gavin? Hello, everybody. Hey, how are you doing? Great. Yeah. Feeling relaxed? Um, this is your fourth Rebel X Alps. Does it get easier? In some ways, yeah. In some ways, it, it gets tougher. You know, the preparation seems to always get tougher, and the physical training, and it's like, oh, God, we got to go through this again. But yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to have, you don't have the kind of first year jitters that I did in 2015. And what about the jitters just now, 20 minutes before the start? Do you? Yeah, I don't have much. No. Uh, it's, you know, it's a long race. You got to take it step by step. And so, um, you know, for sure there's going to be some drama on getting out of here. Like there always is. It's fun. You know, we got a big audience, and, and uh, you know, you've, the build up's been for a year. You know, so. Um, but no, by the time you get to the top, it's all just, it's just been. It's been and what's your dirty. what's your feeling for today? Because we're be, we're hearing that there's strong gusts on the top of the Geisberg now. My personal opinion. Is that's going to mellow out. Um, yeah, it sounds a little feisty, so we'll see. You know, it might be the kind of thing where we, the prudent thing to do is wait a little bit. Um, a lot of that, I think, is being driven by big thunderstorms out in the flats, and it's not really supposed to be north, so yeah, it's a little confusing right now, but um, but anytime the models really don't align today, and they haven't for a couple days, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. It might be a pretty technical day. Well, all the best of luck with it. We'll see, we'll see you out there. Thanks, bud. And uh, have you seen Tom de Dola though, anyway? Yeah. yeah. Right there. Uh, Where? He's right there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, brilliant. Really, because you know, it's his birthday today. You want to give him a cake. Right. Okay.
So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> How old is the birthday boy? Um, 36, I think, today. Do you like me? Perfect. Mm. 36 today. I think that's just a, the right age to win the exams. And, and how many of those birthdays have been at the Red Bull X Alps? It's uh, my second time, I think. Okay. And, uh, last time it was in the middle of the race and uh, we could celebrate with my family. And, and this time it's at the start. So it's you don't have to eat all of it, by the way. No, but I need some more. I think. Yes. <laughs> I need some extra sugar. Looks like it's very windy on top well, we, of the we, we, we don't want to affect your, your weight ratio of your uh, your glider. You were saying you've lost actually quite a lot of weight before doing the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've lost uh, four and a half kilos, I think. But the next three days seems that it looks like we're going to be working a lot. So <laughs> I better get it, get it back. Yeah. Excellent. So tell us, tell us a little bit about um, your, um, your, your, your race goals. So this, this year, how, how uh, I mean, you've done it, this is eight times? This is eight times, eight. Yeah, and uh, well, this year I've prepared like never before. Physically, I'm stronger than before. I have a really good glider, really good playing kit. I'm just so happy with the weather. And uh, well, also the level of the field is amazing. I mean, everyone is very strong. But uh, yeah, I want to enjoy my race. I would like to go and make it to Zalante. That'd be nice. In a good position, hopefully. And what's your feeling for today? We've been hearing those strong gusts up the the guys. Yeah, I mean, yesterday we were almost 100% sure that we were going to be high today. But right now there's like a 55, 60 kilometer uh, gust on top of guys. Man. So it's very windy. Uh, we were just talking with Christoph, maybe put a limit on 30k per hour on top, so people can take up below 30k just for safety. Yeah, look, I mean, we can really sort of feel it, you know, down here as well. But also, it's uh, it's quite a strategic uh, moment because at three o'clock there's no wind on the revision, so maybe we should wait on top and see what happens, or should we go and run? I don't know. It's hard to say. It's a uh, 75 kilometers uh, hike to Glen Alp, not to Bad Lane, I think, so it's a long way. That is a long way. You, you really don't want to hike to, yeah, to no. climb out. You did that. You did that. I think in 2019. Yeah, was it, we was did. It, yeah, I think 2017. On first, I think on the first afternoon in 2017, we walked 70, I think 76, 77 kilometers in, in the afternoon. So. <laughs> I'm not sure I want not for my birthday. Not a good, not a good start. Yeah. Have you got any celebrations planned for tonight? Ah, we'll see where we get. You know, and if I have extra time, yeah, I'll probably stop for. Excellent, Tom. We'll, we'll leave you to your cake. Thank you so much. Enjoy. From outside, as they say, what, about, what does this man have to say for himself? Hey, Birdie. Hello. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, a bit nervous to start. I'll be happy to. I'll be happy to go to the gate and uh, go into the mountains and uh, get this thing done. <laughs> it will be nice. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of wind on the takeoff, so. I hope it will uh, it should drop and uh, be able to uh, at least start safely. Does the um, does the race get any easier? You, this is your fifth time. Yeah. Um, or is it just different challenges every every edition? Well, I think the level is getting higher and higher, so yeah, it's more and more challenging. I think uh, with the age as well. I think uh, I have a kid now and everything, which definitely is in your head. And, uh, yeah. How old are you now? 37. 37. Still, uh, you can, if you have an injury or something, you can feel it longer. Great stuff, Ferdy. Well, um, yeah, good luck, and we'll, we'll see you out there. So let's just have a little wander around and just soak up the atmosphere. We've got a um, team France over there. It looks like. Mikael Gilak, that's uh, Ken from Japan, 
that, but you can see the tension is building. And Eduardo Garza, gonna punch the. Uh, <laughs> How are you? Now we have to speak up because of the, uh, the the audio here. But tell us. Uh, how are you feeling to be back at Rebel X House? Very excited. Mainly because training is over, preparations are over, and now we get to race across the Alps with a bunch of crazy people just like us. So that's good. Love it, deal. <laughs> what are you What are you hoping for this edition? Are you, are you feeling strong? Are you ambitions? Because the first race, the first time you do the Red Bull X Alps, always what happens? People sort of say afterwards, Ah, well now I know what I did wrong. I know mistakes. I'd like to come back and. and and basically, you know, not make any of those mistakes. You got it. So we're making changes. We know where we made mistakes last time that set us back in the standing. So we'll see how it goes, but absolutely yeah. fixing our mistakes, continuous improvement. Because what people say after their second Red Bull Ups is they just, the, the mistakes are different ones. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to avoid this. Yes. yes. Well, good luck. Thank uh, you. Great to see you here. Likewise. And uh, we'll see you out there. Absolutely. Hey Max, quick word. Let's yeah. uh, chat together. Jeremy, join us. So, um, your second uh, Rebel X out, second last year. Um, obviously, you've got probably ambitions for, for, for this edition. Um, Jeremy, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the, what's your reading of the, the weather situation? We're hearing strong gusts on the top of the iceberg. Well, it's a bit difficult to, to plan, but uh, we think like the wind will be go down a little bit. And I think it will be playable after. For sure, a bit difficult. It's not the conditions we had the previous days. But we'll see. We'll try to do the best. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the situation. We'll see when we arrive at the top. Where do you think is a realistic uh, target for today to end up? Yeah. Yeah, I still don't know. Yeah, yeah, we'll, see, see. we'll see in the air or in the ground. Yeah, if it's in the forecast, normally the wing is dropping, so yeah, I think back rain is realistic, then, then I don't. And physically, you're now you're feeling in condition, you're happy with your flying? Yeah, I, I feel really great, and the team everything is okay, so now we just need to race. Do you still get very nervous before the start? Uh, this year? Yeah, it's better than the two years ago because I was really stressed. Now, thanks to win all the race, and it's easier. And yeah, I just want to take it step by step. And no, I'm not so much stressed because it's okay. It's okay. Well, look forward to seeing you out on the, on the course, guys, and uh, yeah, the best of luck. Thank you. Bye. Oh, let's... Mr. Bramfit, Steve Bramfit. How are we doing, Tarquin? From the UK. So we've got to speak up because the guy's uh, chatting on the uh, on the MC system. So okay. tell us uh, what your how it feels to be here at your first ever Rebel X out. It feels good. It feels really good. Yeah, it's always been a dream of mine for since I first seen it, since I first got into flying. So it's actually quite nice to, to be here with my team and. Uh, getting ready to, to go and send up the guys boat. Can you give it a little sort of feeling, a, a, a sense of your feelings just before the start with what, with 10 minutes to go? It feels, uh, it feels like, oh, it's coming up, it's coming to get you. <laughs> Let's get started. Uh, anticipation, just waiting for that gun to go off and just to uh, give me a clean go. Have you, have you got any mantras that, that you that, that view for this race? You know, like, you know, go hard, go home, you know, anything. What's your strategy? Have Take fun. it easy. Have fun with my team. That's 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 the main thing. If, uh, if I'm if my team's having fun, I'm having fun. If I'm having fun, then I fly better. I fly as much as I can, hike as and is little it, as possible. Is your team here? Yeah, this is Matthias. He's my main team. You're supporter. Matthias. How's it? Yeah. Good. So tell us a little bit about the job of a of a supporter. You're basically cook, meteorologist. Yeah, uh, we, a lot 
of planning, a lot of apps to uh, sort out. But luckily, the team is a bit bigger, so we have somebody who are like some with Steve and uh, somebody who's already at the top. Danu, our uh, godfather, is 75. He's our cook and our our main man for all the cooking and all that stuff. So the team is a bit bigger. Mark is there. What's uh, what's on the menu? What's on the menu for, for tonight? Well, just generally, have you generally, got have you got a special diet worked lots out? Lots of pasta, yeah, quite, quite, quite pasta, lots of fresh fruit and veg, pretty much. Um, lots of fit life products. Mm -hmm. You know, my body with this stuff, I really like it. Yeah. We're back. We're back live. Apologies about that. We had a overheating problem. It's, we knew the weather's going to be hot today, and it's been uh, coming up for 30 degrees. And uh, the camera had a little bit of a situation, so I've got a little ice pack. So put it on the back. Keep it cool. There we go. Hopefully that will work. So. Let's just get a chance to see some of the crowds here. Good luck, Ken. Thank you. Patrick, second Red Bull X out. Quick word, how are you feeling? Really good. I hope we can fly now up there. It's a bit wind, but let's see what's going on in one hour. Good luck. Thanks. How are you feeling, Nick? Good, actually. Where, where are you hoping to end up today? Uh, do you already have a target, or just you just take every day, every minute as it comes? Well, it's a bit hard to tell because the weather's just. So I'm playing, playing games, isn't it? So uh, nothing like the forecast a couple of days ago, so we don't even know if we can launch at the moment. You can't, you can't blame the weatherman. <laughs> yes. This, Nick is obviously is a meteorologist himself, so you've only got yourself to blame if the weather's bad. Isn't that how it goes? Yeah. Well, look, good luck. We'll see you out there. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, Sam! Can you let's 
besten Werte sollen deine sein. Das ist einfach eine tolle Stimmung hier. Darf ich bitte die Tür hat? Auf eine Fußball. Viel Spaß, Christian Kriegenbauer! Dabei, dabei, dabei! Yeah. Dabei, dabei! <lacht> That's Russian for go, go, go! <lacht> Benoit, give us some love. Go, go, go! Go, <laughs> All the way. All the way. Okay. To Zalamze. Why don't you come on over? Stop making a fool out of me. Zalamze. <laughs> <laughs> So here we go, the start of the 2021 Red Bull X Alps. It's a hot day, it's going to be up to 30 degrees, but the heat is not so much the worry as the wind. It was looking quite gusty on top of the Geisberg. But let's see, the forecast was hopefully that it would dampen down a little bit. I think we'll see most of these guys in the air. But first, it's an 800 meter ascent to the top. And that's where we shall park company because they're on foot and I shall be in the Defender. See you, Tom, all the best. Thank you. Go, Yael. Go, go, go. Go, Gavin. Amazing that Ogorgi is the oldest competitor. He's 61 years old and I was talking to one of his uh, supporters a couple of days ago saying that uh, he wants to do the X-outs when he's 65. Right, our plan now is to get to the Defender, jump in the wheel and head up to the Geisberg. It takes us probably about half an hour, which is not much slower than the athletes. We shall see you on the top. Stay tuned. I will be going live when we are on the summit. Are we all in? Yeah. Okay, see you on the top.